couple things that I see from South by Southwest for 2014, two days prior, uh, three days prior. Oh my god, four days prior. I feel like it's tomorrow. It's like that exam that you're trying to prepare for and you're kind of concerned about it. Is, uh, is preparing for events and how do you curate and filter the best ones. A couple things that I see. One, perennially, the best parties are completely impromptu events. I know that that seems like it's not very helpful, but it's actually massively helpful. Should you listen and kind of go, not necessarily go with the flow, but it's really important to try to get in with the right vein of people. Two, when you're RSVPing, try to add a little, little, little bit of value to the RSVP process. Do so with a press mention, a blog post, maybe a tweet, maybe augment and filter the hashtag for that party. I wrote a post about it. It's uh, under bit.ly vc03, bit.ly like bit.ly slash vc like venture capital 0311aay alpha alpha y as in yay bit.ly vc 311 aay It's how to RSVP in a value added way. Another thing that is uh, quasi-uncommon knowledge is transitioning from guest to host. I've got another video on it, but doing a sequel party, an after party, greatly establishes you as a person who went from just being a guest to a person who's hosting, even a small 11-minute event. Doing so, hosting helps you get hosted. I know that seems maybe counterintuitive, completely true, helps a ton, the fact that you've ever hosted anything at South By. Uh, another party observation that I've seen that is uh, counter, or maybe a minority opinion, is you will actually want to learn to love the wait list. I'm not talking about learning to love the weighted, weighted line, which is where everybody's in. I'm talking about learning to love the wait list. And in fact, if you Google learn to love the wait list, it's a great strategy. And I'm going to talk about uh, how parties are entrepreneurial in my next video. But on Twitter, I'm at Larry Chang, and I'm broadcasting my locations on the social network that is kind of relaunching itself. It's called Google+.